Okay, Jaden. So uh, right off the mat, a, a best of three that went to three, right? Second yeah. match, barn burner, 12-11. Uh, yeah, yeah. Crazy match with with uh, Pletcher, but uh, coming into that one, coming into that third one, what's going through your mind? Um, what do you got to do to get on the team? They kind of set me straight, you know, like. I'm making little mistakes, like he had my single leg, I tried for a high flyer, gave him four in that second match, but that's four I shouldn't have gave, you know. Uh, I'm just, I gave up too many points that I knew I was better than, I knew I was better, and I, I wanted to prove that the third match, just uh, get to my defense that I've been working on and just staying strong, you know, getting picking the right times to score. So uh, you've had some international experience, you've, you've mm -hmm. gone overseas. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about it and, and how that's going to help you be prepared for you. Um, I love international tournaments, you know. Uh, it's better for me to wrestle those guys because I, I feel like I match up well with them. You know, I wrestled. My first match overseas was against the uh, returning world silver medalist from Georgia, and I got on top and locked a cradle, and they're not used to cradles, I guess. But so, and then I just made little mistakes in the second match, you know, same thing. Like, I was up by five or six and then I tried to throw and got put for four you know it's just little mistakes that we're starting to figure out and make make better things as we go you're gonna take the Olympic red shirt what went into the decision what do you hope to get out of the next eight ten months what will your training look like um ever since I was a little kid my goal was never to just be a national champion you know my dad has always taught me if that's your goal then you're not in it for the sport like you're not loving it as much and that's like my, my goal has always been to the, go to the Olympics and be the best in the world, you know, represent America. And to do that, I feel like I need to take a year off and just focus on my training and focus on me getting better. You know, I have eight months maybe, and I know I'm going to be on another level by then. It feels like, you know, you can beat anyone, obviously, but as you go back to it, the only thing that gets you in trouble is when you try and throw people. <laughs> yeah. you, that, you know what I mean? Like, look, yeah, yeah. if you look at it, even in a lot of your folk style wrestling, you know, that's mm -hmm. something that it, it's, how do you tighten that game up? How do you get better at that? You know, after my match, I uh, sat down with Mike and Dennis, and we talked, and we're like, you know, uh, there's times to be flashy and times to just get it done, and uh, these matches are just getting it done again for the win, you know. I had to tighten up and get it done for the world team, and I did just that. I, I corrected my mistakes in that short period of time, and I feel like I'm going to keep improving until Budapest, which is like five months away, and I... I'm going to be on that room every single day, getting better and better to get that uh, world, title, world title. How has Dennis helped you? Um, he's just, he brings me that toughness and grits, you know. I have Mike, my dad, who gives me the love and support and the amazing technique that he shows me. And then I have Dennis always, like, getting me going, you know, the fire, like, kicking my butt, like, get going, get going, time to go, time to go. He's pushing me, and it, those two in my corner are just unreal. And then I had a good friend of mine, Aaron, in my corner this weekend. He, He's always been with me since uh, college. He first helped me when I was cutting weight down to 33. That wasn't fun, but he was he was always there to help me, and he's he's still helping me along my journey. Do you live in Como? What does a red shirt year look like? Do you go to Colorado? Um, what, what is the year? What do you do? Well, I live with Mike. We have our own wrestling room in our backyard, so whenever we want to wrestle, it's like let's go, let's let's try something new. If I see something on YouTube about watching the Russians wrestle or watching other countries learn and develop, it's all. I want us to go out there, let's go right now, and I'll grab them, we'll go outside. And then for my Olympic year, yeah, we're gonna go uh, travel around, uh, training with the best guys, go to the training center, and just try to get the most out of it as we can and get prepared. Right, well, good luck winning the world title this year. Thank you very much.